My father's illness started probably three years prior to when he took his life. I think that my father struggled with a lot of issues that had come from his childhood, uh, losing his mother at birth and then basically being raised by his grandparents throughout his life. I think uh, he probably always struggled with that but really didn't know. He had something that changed in his job. We got transferred to Vancouver and that didn't work out. My dad got into a deep depression where he would basically stay up all night, sleep all day and at that time really it was uh, something that people hid and they didn't go and get treatment and you know my dad just got further and further into a, a dark tunnel that he just couldn't come out of. Myself I was 15 years old um, our parental instincts kicked in at an early age I know I went to work and had to help my mom pay the bills and uh, I had uh, Bruce who was 10 and Russ who was at 12 and I had an older sister we all just really came together as a family and uh, uh, he coached us in all our sports. It was very difficult. Uh, he was a big part of our lives. We were very fortunate because we dealt with it internally and uh, we made it. You know, now that we all have kids and we've all had our careers and the boys have done so well in hockey and he wasn't there to see any of that, it's really hard. But when the boys came home and they were tired from their careers, we thought we wanted to do something for Victoria. And so we were researching and, and uh, Russ was, uh, came across uh, an article with the Victoria Hospital Foundation that uh, of little points of where they wanted to go with their, their charitable fundraising and one of them was mental health. And so when we saw that, it was just an automatic, made a lot of sense to us. We didn't know what it was going to entail, but as it grew and things came about, they re realized they were going to build a center, so we focused all of our efforts on that. Well, we've, we've done a lot of fundraising over the years. Uh, when we played for Vancouver, we uh, started uh, the Courtnell Classic for Canuck Place, and it was a huge success. Three years we had an event in Vancouver. Our uh, initial expectations definitely were to try to raise $200,000 and raise awareness of the mental health issues by basically exposing a lot more about our story, our, our life. It was a difficult thing to go through, but at the same time, I think that the people of Victoria really got behind it and the results uh, were much higher than what we expected. But you know, the event that we had and the charitable cause that we, that we uh, put together, that was a real healing process, I think, for all of us. I mean, as much as it was uh, something that uh, was new in the community, someone out, actually uh, coming out and speaking out about what they'd gone through, that was healing for all of us and, and many other people as well. Well, I'll tell you a story about uh, a month after I, uh, we opened the Archer Courtnell Center in Victoria, I was at the Jubilee in emergency because I, uh, I tore my uh, bicep and um, the ladies, I was checking in and they were taking all my information and um, I was sitting next to a lady who sat down beside me to check in and she said to the lady, the lady asked her what she was in for and she said, I'm suicidal, I need help right now. And the lady said, just a minute. She went back, got somebody from the Archery Courtnell Center. They came out, they talked to her, and they took her in through the back to the Archie Courtnell Center. And I was like, wow, it really does work, and it really has made a difference. On behalf of the uh, branches of the Canadian Mental Health Association in British Columbia, I wanted to present you with our 2007 Mental Health Voices Award in recognition of the, the work that you and your family have done in raising the awareness of mental illness in the community and all the fundraising that you've done. Speaking openly about your family's experience of mental illness um, is a tremendous boost to the work that we do and the families and individuals who live with mental illness and I want to thank you uh, for, for that and the courage and, uh, that it's taken your family to, to speak openly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We just want to thank the CMHA for this uh, beautiful award. Uh, the family uh, really appreciates it and we're glad to see that 
just what we're doing has made a difference and we hope that uh, everyone out there continues to try to make a difference for the CMHA. You're probably watching this video today at one of the events that we're holding across BC to celebrate Mental Illness Awareness Week. We really want to thank you for your support for attending today. Uh, we really appreciate greatly your support uh, for the Canadian Mental Health Association and for the work that we're doing around mental illness. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thank, thank you, you, CMHA. CMHA.